I was home alone in the apartment one day in the kitchen cooking breakfast and I happened to look up. I don't remember if the door was open or if it was a French door with a full view, but I noticed Mr. Collins walking by carrying a load of laundry and he was completely naked. What do you mean he was completely naked? Uh, he, he didn't have any clothes on whatsoever. He had a wad of clothes in his hands. Okay. And, you know, walking through the courtyard and I was taken aback. That was strange. I, you know, I'm like, wow, who, who does that? <laughs> then another day later, I had asked one of the neighbors about that because, I, you know, it stuck with me. I did think that it was extremely bizarre behavior. We don't run around naked here. Um, and she told me that he had just been filming in France. So, of course, my Oklahoma mind goes, oh, okay, you know, it's France. Yeah, <laughs> Weird, whatever. It's an aberration. I can live with it. Didn't think anything else of it. During this trip, I had brought my Atari, if that dates, dates me a little bit, so that I would have something to do. But I had forgotten the adapter that hooked the Atari up to the television. So once that adapter arrived, I had no idea how to hook it up. I happened to run into Mr. Collins in the courtyard at that point in time and I was explaining to him and he said, oh, he could give it a go. He could probably fix it for me. So I invited him into my aunt's apartment and I took him into the living room where the TV was and he started to attempt to fix this. I don't know at what point he did this, but when he turned around, his pants were completely unfastened. His penis was hanging out. And I'm just shocked. He, he doesn't make any mention of it. He doesn't act any different. So I decided, okay, you know, again, this is really weird, but I'm going to play along. And I didn't say anything either. I just acted like it was not out. <laughs> what was going through your mind? Were you nervous? Did you think he was going to approach you with his exposed penis? Um, Honestly, up until this point, I'm 13. I've never even kissed a boy. This is not something that I was even prepared to deal with. More or less, I kind of just shut down. He was he was acting normal, so I was determined to act just as normal. I'm keeping an eye level. I'm not, you know, my whole thing at that time was not to respond. I didn't want to be rude. He was fixing something for me. I was appreciative of that. So he did he, he did his thing I you know and then he left so now I'm laying out you know by myself in the apartment complex and he comes home and he sat down beside me and we were having a conversation and he made mention of some memorabilia from the movie or from the show tales of the gold monkey that he had in his apartment so he asked me if I cared if I could you know if I wanted to come over and look at the stuff that he had during the, the time that I'm looking at this memorabilia, he asks me if I care if he gets more comfortable. So he walks back to his bedroom and he comes back out into the living room and he is completely nude. And I mean, it's my heart just fell. I, how do you deal with that? How, you know, again, I'm 13. I've never even kissed a boy. This is a, a random stranger that I don't really know that's done something so outrageous, now I'm not sure how to handle it. And I remember sitting on the couch and not wanting to be rude to him, not knowing how to get out of there. I'm, I'm just as tight as I can be, legs together, arms together, going, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. He is nonchalantly fixing some light that's three feet away from me. It's a standing light. I think he's changing a light bulb possibly, but it puts his genitalia right on my eye level so it's like it's almost like you're looking everywhere but you can't help but see it I'm sitting on that couch wondering how I am gonna extricate myself from this terrible situation not be rude not flip out and then all of a sudden like a ray of sunshine here comes my aunt walking by the window she had come home early and I saw her and it was like there's my aunt, gotta go, by, and bolted from the door. I, there was not a chance for him to make a comment to me, nothing. She was my lifeline, she was my saving grace, and out the door I went.